Hi everyone and welcome back a bit of this for you TV. We have another week that starts and we have lots lots of football coming up once again. So we are back here again to give you some tips uh, and we start with Monday night where we have a very interesting match in the Premier League between Wolves and Liverpool. But also we have uh, La Liga action as well, which we want to take into consideration for our bets. Later on in the week, uh, make sure you subscribe to Betnis for You TV, as we have a lot of different show on the Champions League and Europa League. But for now, let's focus on this match, on tonight's match between uh, uh, Liverpool and between Wolves and Liverpool. Make sure you subscribe to Betnis for You TV, as you will be able to access all those exclusive tips and also get notifications when new videos are released. Remember that those tips are not available on our website or on our Twitter feed. You can only find them by watching videos here at Better This For You TV on YouTube. All you need to do to subscribe is to log in into your YouTube account, click in the link in the post above and everything is completely free. Also, in the description below, you will find the links that will load the best suggestion in this video directly in your bed sleep. In this way, you will save time as you don't have to find those selections in the bookmaker sites you will ensure to back our tips correctly and also get the best possible odds as we always look for the bookmakers that have the best price for our tips. Remember though that uh, odds are always subject to change, so make sure you double check them before betting. Our expert here at Betting is for You TV headquarters have provided us with a bet of the day and also a double mixing the Premier League and the La Liga as Barcelona will be in action at home against Huesca. So let's start from the bet of the day and uh, I mean we can see that um, those two teams are coming into this match Wolves and Liverpool in rather uh, difficult form, bad form. Um, Wolves uh, however are coming fresh as they've been uh, afforded a nine day rest since they managed to get a draw against Aston Villa last time, last weekend. So they, they're probably going to be quite fresh into this match and they will fancy their chances considering that Liverpool have been in a dreadful form in the Premier League uh, even though they managed to, to win in the Champions League uh, in the last midweek. So uh, Liverpool, I mean, um, definitely they need to improve in the Premier League. They could still have a chance to reach the top four but they need to hurry up uh, and this could be a good opportunity to follow up their win against Leipzig and uh, before the, the, the break, the international break, get some confidence back into the team. Nuno Espirito Santos' side have been far from the best this season. However, if we look at the stats, we can see that they are a difficult team to beat. And uh, if we look at, uh, um, at their games, they've lost only one of the last seven in the Premier League. And, and that game was against uh, champions to be Manchester City. So, Definitely a team that can stay in the game and is difficult to, to beat. Um, Liverpool, as I said before, they managed to get a confidence boost in midweek uh, as they defeated Leipzig. It is difficult to say whether they would be able to, to go through um, uh, you know, to the final to Istanbul uh, this year in the Champions League. As uh, If they have to do that, they will have to improve a lot. But uh, now they, um, I mean, in Premier League, their situation remains terrible. They sit in eighth place in the table and are now seven points adrift of the top four. And this is the result of lo them losing six of the last seven league matches. So definitely something that was completely unexpected despite, you know, obviously the champions had a lot of injuries this season. This season. Um, if we look at this period, the only win was against Sheffield United, who are rock bottom in the, in the Premier League. And since Christmas, they have won only three of their 14 uh, league games. So, of awful form from Liverpool. Having said that, if we look at their away record, we can see that they are playing better than uh, they're, they're playing better than Anfield. In fact, um, and, and obviously, this will give them confidence, uh, even though they won. Uh, against Leipzig in what's supposed to be home in the Champions League. In fact, the game was played due to travel restrictions in Budapest. So um, it was an away game as well. Um, but it's not going to be easier with Wolves. Like we said before, Wolves have lost only four of their 13 league games at home this season. And definitely they will not make things easy for Liverpool. I'm not 100% sure 
what's going to happen in the second half. If, if you want to, uh, I mean, our experts, they believe that probably Liverpool will win in the second half. But what we are going to bet here and where we think the value is, is backing the draw at half time. Both teams, you know, are not in great confidence. So we don't think that they will go out, uh, you know, in, in taking too many risks very early on in this match. And probably Liverpool will uh, actually, uh, Liverpool's quality will emerge in the second half, considering they play better also away from home. But we're not going to risk that. So we're just going to bet, draw at half time between uh, um, Liverpool, uh, Wolves and Liverpool. Um, another thing that we want to, uh, you to consider is that basically four of the last 11 matches at home from Wolves have ended in a draw. So definitely they are capable of keeping things balanced. So the, the draw at half time between Wolves and Liverpool pay 11 to 10, which uh, we believe is great value. And it's our bet of the day for Monday night football. Let's move now to the double. The double, we we'll start again with uh, Wolves against Liverpool. And, uh, but this time we're considering the goal market. So Liverpool have been not only leaky at the back, but they've been very, very um, shaky in, uh, in attack as well. They've been poor, if I have to say. In fact, they've scored only three goals in the last five games and surely uh, they, they have problems and, and they will have problems against a Wolves side that are uh, you know, very solid and compact at the back. Wolves, however, uh, is not going to provide fireworks to either because they, if you look, they've scored five from the last five games. So, so what we have here is uh, two teams that are definitely struggling to score goals at the moment and um, I mean Liverpool have improved a little bit now with Fabinho uh, that is providing more stability at the back but um, and, and, and obviously they, they still need to uh, show some consistency though because if we look at the, at the last few games they've only had one clean sheet in the last five in the Premier League so Klopp will definitely ask their men to to try to follow up and to see some uh, improves, you know, some some more some consistency in in the um, in the defense, so in the defense performances. So it looks that everything points towards the under 2.5 goals, uh, which we think it's a very interesting bet to place. Um, also because the odds are very valuable, and this is our first selection of our double for Monday night. The second selection, for the second selection, we move to Spain and we're going to uh, the match between Barcelona and Huesca. So Barcelona, we, in this case, we're going to bet that uh, there will be a draw in the first half and then Barcelona will win in the second half. So draw Barcelona at half time, full time in Barcelona v Huesca. The reason why we're going for this is uh, if um, Barcelona um, have, been, have been having a kind of strange season, so they definitely... Um, play well in midweek uh, against Paris Saint-Germain. However, they were coming from that huge defeat in the first leg, so they didn't make it and they were are now they are eliminated from the Champions League. So they, they have to focus on the league. Um, their situation is uh, um, it's decent at the moment in La Liga. They've done quite well. Uh, they probably will want to take their frustration on, uh, on Huesca who are sitting at the bottom of the table. Uh, in fact, um, they, they, you know, they definitely need to win the game. Um, they, they have good chances of winning La Liga as they they are still trying to reach uh, Atletico Madrid, who are at the top of the table, but they've been quite shaky in recent weeks and they are not definitely in the form that they were at the beginning of the season. Having said that, um, Barcelona are unbeaten in 16 league games. Uh, so the last match they lost was in December when they were surprisingly defeated 2-1 at Cadiz. But apart from that, they've been pretty steady and, you know, seven of the last 10 home games uh, have been won by, uh, by Ronald, Ronald Koeman's men. One thing, though, that it, it comes quite out quite clearly when we look at the stats in more details is that they have a slow start at home. So Barcelona... Um, they normally sort things out in the second half. Uh, as uh, if, if we look at the numbers, we can see that they've been uh, level in seven of their 13 home league games this season. So, if we couple that with the fact that Wesca, yes, are, are at the bottom of the table and they've won only one of their 13 away matches, 
but they are uh, playing you know very compact especially in the first half it's quite difficult to break them in the first half because they play a very defensive football and in fact they have been uh, they've been all square in six of those 13 away matches so we believe there is an opportunity here to back a draw in the first half uh, i mean barcelona also they've been playing many games uh, in recent um, uh, in recent weeks so they will not want to take too much risk and 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 i think it will take some time for them to open up the wesker defense especially because they have the tendency as we demonstrated uh, with the numbers to 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 start quite slow so we believe there is great value here and uh, this double return seven to one so i remember uh, just to recap the double is under 2.5 in Wolves against Liverpool and draw Barcelona to win at half time, full time. Return a 7 to 1 this double. So if you bet £10, you get back 76, which is uh, very, very interesting as far as uh, I'm concerned for Monday. And that's the bet that I'm going to place myself. So uh, there is very interesting football tonight, Monday night. Um, I wish you uh, great, great luck with your bets. Uh, enjoy the football. There's more football coming up, uh, as I said before, later on in the week. So make sure you subscribe to Betis for your TV so you can get notifications. But uh, for the time being, that's all for today. I wish you um, a great night and uh, also make sure that you always gamble responsibly. Bye for now. Make sure you subscribe to Betting This For You TV as you will be able to access all those exclusive tips and also get notifications when new videos are released. Remember that those tips are not available on our website or on our Twitter feed. You can only find them by watching videos here at Betting This For You TV on YouTube. All you need to do to subscribe is to log in into your YouTube account, click in the link in the post above and everything is completely free. Also in the description below, you will find the links that will load the best suggestion in this video directly in your bet slip. In this way, you will save time as you don't have to find those selections in the bookmaker sites. You will ensure to back our tips correctly and also get the best possible odds as we always look for the bookmakers that have the best price for our tips. Remember though that uh, odds are always subject to change, so make sure you double check them before betting.